Mm, tired. Tired? <laughs> How you feel about All-American? So I, I don't have, I didn't even watch the episode that much. I watched some clips of it because, uh, no, no, because YouTube, YouTube has the clips up already. And I already watched Olivia. So I just want to say shout out to uh, everybody in the chat because they know me as DJ John because I'm, I'm the, 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 the album's still coming out. Uh, added some, uh, dilemma, added dilemma by Simone and Damon. Where, uh, where they at by Nurse Joy. Uh, <laughs> But um, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make it quick. Uh, I want to take a, a a throwback to anybody who you know people that watched season one. Everyone remember you know when uh when Spencer moved in and she ha- and uh and uh Billy gave him that money. You know when 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 he had, like you know because we're talking about you know the whole uh one grew up privileged the other one grew up you know with barely anything. So you know everyone's seen like how Jordan for example like you know with that money that he would get he would spend it on either you know. Um, parties, booze, uh, playing pool, you know, things that are not, you know, how do you call it, uh, necessary, necessity. Mm-hmm. And what happens when Spencer, somebody who was not privileged, somebody who didn't grow up with money, that kind of thing, what does he spend it on? He spends it on making sure that his, te- his, his teammate Asher makes sure, makes sure that car is fixed so he doesn't, you know, so nothing really happens. And then he fills up his mother's freezer and then fridge. <laughs> Which, which no, which me, if I was given that much money and everything, I probably would do that. Cause I'm not saying that I grew, I'm not saying that I grew up with money and didn't grow up with money. I was like in that middle ground, mm-hmm. that, that middle ground and everything. But knowing me, how I was, I would have felt like if I had that much money just given to it, I would have been trying to help out my, my family get that food. And the thing is that I feel like Olivia just doesn't understand that lifestyle because she has everything. If she need, if she needs to, if she needs a new car, daddy's going to get her a new car. I mean, if she, she need, if she crashed her old one, and what they do, it didn't take long for her to get a new one. And so, as far as the nil thing, all right. So, like, so when she said that you know, two hundred dollars is not that much. I mean, damn, you must, ne- you must never. That, that's how I know she don't shop at Dollar Tree. Because that two hundred dollars will stretch a month if you if if you have it in the right hands at Dollar Tree. That you know, you can buy toilet paper. Snacks, uh, microwavable food. That shit will last you a whole month. That's why, like you know, like I said, like Olivia, like I understand, like now, now you can agree with me on this that, like you know, nil can you know produce uh problems when it comes to like you know, when it comes to like boosters and luring away talent from other schools that that don't have that kind of money to lure mm-hmm. talent and everything and don't have that access to like sponsors. But the thing is, is that that's not that that's not a detriment to the athletes. It's a detriment to you know the schools trying to compete. Yeah. So that's why, like for me, I don't like I don't see anything like there's there's nothing wrong with it for the players. It's just them using the image and likeness to make money. Because again, yeah. it's like you said. I, I know um, a lot of people that um when I, I used to go to school down in my down in South Florida and had a lot of friends that went. I had a friend that went to FAU just uh, just like how you said that she was a two sport athlete. And she was, and she got a scholarship to play those two sports, but she was paid as if she was only playing one. So, you and know, I still had if to she do, like, I had to do summers where I was doing three and four practices a day because both teams have two a days. Yeah, like they might make a little accommodations of like, okay, Erica don't got to do the cardio for this one, and don't have to do the weightlifting for this one. But for the most part, I still got to show up for all four of these things. I still got to show up and be present for both of these teams. Yep, and, and on top of that, on top of that, the thing is, is that depending on what your sport, especially if, especially for Spencer being a, a football athlete, the thing is they have spring practices, and then what happens after spring practices? You start having to, you start having summer practices because you're getting ready for the fall for the fall season, and the thing is, is like we said, a lot of the people that are going to like you know like the uh, like the schools in LA, you know that you know their family's gonna have some money, so if they need a care package, they're gonna send it. If Spencer doesn't have an NIL and just has his uh, just a scholarship, that's it. If he just has and a scholarship, don't go to Baker's, because yes, they're going to try to help, and he's he is privileged in that. In yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, yeah, he's privileged. He's privileged that he knows the Baker's. But if he didn't have the Baker's, he would he, he would be guaranteed. He would be doing exactly what what was he doing when he was with the Baker's? He told him, "I don't want to have you know. I want you to give me all this money." He's going to work for it. 
the thing is, is that when you're in college, it's your your schedule is even worse mm -hmm. when it comes to the practices because now he's not going to be able to just work during the summer. He's not going to be like if he does, it's going to be just like with school when he was going to school and playing football. He's going to have to balance the two things, mm -hmm. and I feel like Olivia does not understand that because, like I said, and the thing is, like uh, your guy said before, uh, the, the guy said before. Most people who play sports, football, basketball, uh, soccer, volleyball, which are all sports that it does not take money. It does not take money to play those sports because you can just put up a, a net and get like a re like a random. Hell, you probably at one point played volleyball with a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is that like these sports are mostly mostly played by kids who don't have money. And, and for a lot of kids, that's their way out. Yeah, it was mine. For me, for me, I, for me, and y'all see I have a broken hand. I can't fight right now, but for me, my way out, in a way, aside, you know, now granted, I have a choice because I want to get my CDL license. One of my ways out is to fight because it, it, I get paid to do something I like to do. And it's a quick, rich, it's a quick way to get rich. And, you know, like I said, Olivia doesn't understand that. And as far as why she's going so hard as, for the NIL thing, personally, I don't think she's over the Davida thing. She might have made peace with it, but, but see, she made peace with it right here, in the back of that head. She's she's still she's still in her head thinking, and now that like she's around the house and everything, she's gonna see Davida's. If Davida's in that beach house, she's gonna see Spencer a lot more. If, if I mean, she, well, she happens to be her, around, so that'll be on her. <laughs> that, that well, that's on her though, but. I think that's. I think that it's another case of Olivia overcompensating. Mm. She's trying to. She's trying to make it seem like she's not insecure. So Spencer doesn't say anything. Mm. And that take it from somebody who used to do that when I was younger, when I was a lot more immature about relationships. I will compensate to like make it seem like I wasn't insecure about something. And in the back of my head, I'm like, man, fuck this guy. Yeah. Like. But that's, that's but real. that's how it is, and that's no, that that's something that happens. Yeah, that's something that happens. And then I was gonna say something else about Davida, but oh, sorry, I forgot. I got way into it. I got way too into into the subject. Okay. But uh, let's see. Nil Davida, Olivia not understanding the fact that she's privileged. Uh, let's see, the fact that she's biracial and everything. But you said it's about how she, how she feels herself, but. But again, you're saying that it's how she feels about herself, but it's guaranteed that she feels that way in some ways whenever she goes around. She even felt that way when she went to Crenshaw, when they did the whole signing up thing, when Spencer was trying to do the, when she saw Kia and everything. Now, granted, Layla was a little more, like, kind of jealous about how Kia was active at being an activist. Don't, we don't know if, I don't think that Layla is biracial. No, no, no. On the show. I wish we could see pictures of Monica. Because I, because I feel like when I, when I think back about that, I'm like Layla was more concerned about how amazing Kia was. Oh no, no, no! I'm not saying no, no. I'm not saying Jordan and Olivia have a very clear journey that has to do with what they feel like their blackness is and their detachment from like Crenshaw and all that. So I would love to see. I would love to see what Monica was. Well, definitely they could paint her as being biracial. I mean, as not biracial, but I look at Layla and I'm like, wonder what she's mixed with. But really? no, I think I think I, oh no, I think that I think that I think that uh, that Layla is mixed. Hmm. Hmm. I, I think she has a little bit of Asian in her. But uh, but it's, but yeah, no, I feel like Olivia though. Like she's she's that's the thing about Olivia. She's just over, oh, I remember what I was gonna say the Spence and Olivia thing. And look, okay, wait. Are the people in the like the YouTube chat? They can hear me, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh wait, am I on the chat? Yes. And they can see me. Oh, yes. that's so great. You can see my beauty. Anyway, so Don't Olivia, okay, Spolivia Spol 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 fans. Oh gosh. I'm a Spolivia fan too, and I'm sorry to say it. They need to break up. They need to they add they need to add it they need to add a new song to the album. I'll figure out that song later. But they need but they need to break up because it, it I feel like she doesn't change unless there's serious consequences. Mm -hmm. Unless like the consequence is truly serious. 
Because when was the last time she actually took accountability for her actions? When she got drunk, crashed the car, and Spencer was about to take the was about to take the shit for take the shit for for her, and got in trouble with, and and basically you know you know uh, Coach Baker got onto him about it. That's the last time she's taken accountability for her issues. And the thing is that it was because it was a serious thing at the time because she knew that she damn near lost Spencer. And what's going to happen? And, and she's not going to know. She's not going to know to change until... Yeah, Spencer does call her out on stuff. But the thing is, he forgives her too easy. Like, it, it, it's... It's it's like this. Like, calls her out. See, I, I have to hold it with my other hand because, you know, my hand broke. Like this. Snap. Boom. Forgiveness. Just like that. Because because Spencer does have in the back of her mind, he's afraid that she might that she had the overdose, the you know the overdose at one point might start drinking. But see, ironically, Spencer doesn't realize it yet. But Olivia's addiction, she's still she's still an addict. It's just that the way that she's trans she's transposing. I'm making big words here. I might have been made up. Transposing her like addiction and stuff like that. It's on Spencer. It's almost like a clingy, like basically like a clingy woman or a clingy man or something like that. She's clung on to him to compensate for her being an addict. I have not said that out like in that way, but that is what I have been trying to allude to. And uh, the lovely super Spolivians have been picking me apart for it. Oh, no, no. I'm a, I'm a Spolivian true and true. Like, I like. Like me and my friend, when the Vegas episode happened, and we saw the the and now mind you, me and my homeboy, we are like the we're like the alpha male, like we don't cry for shit kind of stuff, except for like if you know like you know like sports happen. But when they did the vows and they started doing the flashbacks of the vow during the vows, we're like, yo, bro, they finna do it, bro, they finna do it. Like we're getting emotional shit, and then when he kissed. We're like, yes! And then our downstairs neighbor had to hit the fucking, uh, the roof and everything, telling us to shut the hell up. But the thing is, we were Spolivian fans, but the thing is, is like, it, it for most of us who are now walking away from this Bolivia thing, it's kind of like, when you're in, it's kind of like any person's been in a relationship. The chase was fun. Now we're here. It, it's basically, basically, we you know we're up here. Guess what, Layla? Goes a little bit down. Oh, next thing you know, like they start becoming friends again and everything, going back up. Now we're hitting the Vegas episode. Now they're dating. That they kiss, and now she admitted her feelings and told off Layla. And now we're in college. We're here, and now it's going down because it's the cha- it's no longer fun. We we were in love with the chase. We were in love like the people that are Spolivia fans that have turned away from it were in love with the chase. But now that we've seen what they are together, it's like, eh. Well, what I would love to say is put some respect on my name because I was totally here for the slow burn of it all. I was totally here for them to take their damn time and for her to get to a healthy place with more time that has passed since her relapse so that once they actually walk into this relationship, it will last longer than two or three months. But no. How many months has it been? Erica don't like Olivia. Erica don't like Olivia. I want people to be healthy and happy. How about that? How many how many months has it been technically? I wanted this to last when they actually got to the damn destination. It's been what three months? Damn, that's tough. But uh yeah, no, like I said, we were in love with the chase and everything. That's what happened. Um I mean shoot, Erica, we know that you were first Bolivia. We were Remember, all remember. Some people don't. Some people really have okay. forgotten. Okay. Really for anybody, really for anybody, for anybody, for anybody who didn't think that Erica was first Bolivia, I was there, like in the the live, like when you were doing the live reaction video, like for YouTube, and you had like some of us in the, in the no no in the Zoom call, like the live, like like the live watch, like yeah, when you were watching it for the first time, and some of us on the East Coast had already watched it. I had already watched it, and. When we were seeing you getting emotional when they got into the car, you know, when Kia left and said, I- I'm going to let y'all be and all that stuff. When you started hearing, when we collide, 
you start you, you immediately started getting emotional and all of us were like oh no and you and when she said that i love you and everything you started having a spark on your eye and smiling and then next thing you know, the crash happened and then we got concerned <laughs> but no but you, but you got but you got emotional they know so they run around here with this propaganda out here like you're a cousin i've been i'm not new to this i'm true to this 